Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Yudi Uchiha. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. And in today's video, we are hopping into Vegeta's story. And like I've been doing with all the other videos, I am specifically tackling on the what if scenarios in this video as I feel like the what ifs are just more interesting uh, as opposed to the main storyline stuff, especially since the way that this game kind of handles the mainline story stuff, they don't really do it as good as they did the what ifs. So I thought, why not hit up the what ifs only? So gonna be seeing maybe like a couple main storyline stuff here and there but majority of the what ifs and thus far we've played through goku's gohan and future trunks story and those what ifs on all three of them was really good with gohan being my favorite and honestly i could probably see gohan's what if being my favorite out of all of them like even when i'm done with all the character stories but if you guys have been enjoying the playthrough thus far be sure to hit the like button and if you guys are looking forward to some more sparking zero content be sure to hit the subscribe button as i've been streaming sparking zero almost damn near daily uh uploading daily uh, hopefully at this point by the time you guys are watching this video It'll, it might be days maybe a week from now that you guys are watching this video but hopefully <laughs> i will be still uploading daily as i'm trying to keep a little streak going but yeah we got a ton of sparking zero to come through so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's jump in. Let's lock into Vegeta's story. <laughs> let's go already. They had, the, they had. <laughs> he escaped away faster than I thought. They had, yo, Doctor Zero was out, bruh. After witnessing Vegeta destroy Android 19, Android 20 flees. It then comes to the light that Android 20 was Dr. Jiro all along. Vegeta pursues Jiro as he heads towards his laboratory. But Dr. Jiro seals his own fate when he awakens 17 and 18. As soon as they come on online, they put a swift end to their creator. They then proceed to boot up Android 16, another model. Now a team of three, the androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others won't find them. Vegeta catches up with the androids and lands before them. Well, well, not the sort of place I expected to find you three, but it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is, to kill him. Oh, okay. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. W's. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a saying thing. <laughs> they always talk such a big talk. And then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. Damn. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy. I'll rip all three of you to pieces. Who's first? What's wrong? Battery's running low. <laughs> Let's play. Just you and me. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. The OG, the OG dub is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Sit down. Wait, this is the what if battle, I think. Damn puppet. I can't even tell if she's taking any damage or not. Big bang attack. Did I miss? I missed. Um, and Android 18 is flying in the wrong direction. Is this going to land? I sure hope so. It did. <laughs> Android 18's face right there. My goodness. The question is, do we do this fast enough? Because I'm pretty sure this is probably beating this fast enough. Wait, we got 18 with the battle damage. Hold on. I don't know if we did this fast enough, but I sure hope so. <laughs> Little man. There's got to be more to my power than this. 
Swearing to defeat the androids during their next encounter, Vegeta asks Bulma to make him a training battle suit. Vegeta then asks Goku, who has awakened after recovering from his heart virus, about the hyperbolic time chamber. After receiving the battle suit from Bulma, Vegeta heads into the chamber with Trunks in order to train. To test his individual strength and overcome his limits, Vegeta asks Trunks to become his sparring partner. Should I show my father my new transformation? Or would that be too damaging to his pride? <laughs> Trunks. Come now, let's not waste any time, boy. Spar with me. I I'd be honored to, it's just... Should I keep it to myself? Or show him what I can really do? Hurry up! And you better not hold back even the slightest bit! Whatever you want. That voice you serve is a good way to measure how much stronger I can become. That's what I'm saying. The thing is, that shit was... That shit was like, uh... The way it was subtitled, it was like supposed to be his inner thoughts, but like... His mouth was moving, so like clearly he said that shit out loud. Big bang attack! That didn't do nearly as much damage as I would have liked that shit to. What in the world? I right, surely this one lands. Surely. Hold this for me, Trunks. Brutal. At this rate, I might have no other choice. What's the matter with you? You're hiding something. If there's some secret technique you've yet to showcase, show it to me now. Fine, but don't get angry if I beat you. Damn. Oh, is he getting? Wait, is he getting another health bar? Nope. He is not. Satisfied? This is what you wanted, right? Unbelievable! Vegeta getting called the little boy while Trunks was getting called boy is the funniest thing in this game. Thinking. Bro, Trunks they were exchanging like boys. Going to be enough to take me down. That makes sense. Brute strength alone isn't gonna cut it. Father, you thinking of drink, mean, bitch? Vegeta. You're not even the cup. <laughs> I'll cut out the act. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're the son I had with Bulma, aren't you? <laughs> it's fine. Stop worrying about it. Now, what were you going to ask? Well, would you spar with me? I've realized that training all on my own isn't that helpful. Yes, admittedly, even I've hit my limit pushing myself entirely solo. If you and I were to do God, battle, Trunks is so cool, man. I could reach new heights that I never thought possible. Another step toward ultimate strength. Let's get underway. Uh, right. Fellas, call me the drink. Vegeta and Trunks continue to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. As they train, a bond begins to develop between the two warriors who have surpassed Super Saiyan form. Upon completing their training in the hyperbolic time chamber, Vegeta and Trunks learn that Cell has already absorbed Android 17. They immediately hurry to his location and see that Cell is in the process of absorbing Android 18. Even so, Vegeta makes no attempt to stop him. Hurry up and become your so-called perfect form! Are you serious? Are you sure about this? If Cell progresses any further, he could become more powerful than ever! And Trunks was awfully calm right there. He was crashing out in the anime. I'm sure that's exactly what I want. My most powerful opponent yet. A perfect Cell could endanger the whole world. But maybe Father really is strong enough to take him. I owe you much That's gratitude. not what Trunks said. But know this, you've now officially blown your one chance you ever had of defeating me. <laughs> hey, bro. Now you will become one with the cell. Um, I don't think anybody wants to become one with cell. My perfect form. It's perfect. 
Oh, do step forward, Vegeta. You shall serve as a fitting first victim to exemplify my limitless power. That's my life, insect. Oh my God, he called he called him an insect. <laughs> Hold on, we're not even Super Vegeta yet. We're, we're still in Super Saiyan. Bro has not realized he's in a what-if scenario right now. Hold on, we still, we still in Super Saiyan. Are we, do, are we in the what-if? Thank God I did. I simply cannot believe how long you've survived against me like this. I mean, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> it almost feels like a shame to kill you. <laughs> oh my God, look at Cell talking that shit. Every battle makes a Saiyan stronger. You won't live to see how much greater I'll become. Okay, they scrapping. Hey, now. Even more powerful than this. You become more and more fascinating by the second Vegeta. Then I shall hold a martial arts tournament. Let's say 10 days from now. Okay, this is different. More fair, I'd say. Plenty of time to reach the new heights. You're okay. Facing. All right. They didn't even finish their fight. I right. I right. I like where this is going. Hold on. After fighting Vegeta, Cell's interest in Super Saiyans is peaked. To make his battles with Vegeta and the other Super Saiyans even more fun, he decides to hold the Cell Games, a martial arts tournament. To prepare for the Cell Games, which is taking place in 10 days, Vegeta and Trunks continue to train in the hyperbolic time I've chamber. I've never gotten to see Father's full power and true skill up close. I'd better take this opportunity to watch and learn. And then, on the day of the Cell Games, Vegeta is first to step into the arena, ready to fight. Wait, this is so gas! You know, I got to admit it. I genuinely thought you would disappoint me. However, you were stronger than I expected in our last encounter. Over these past 10 days, I've been shivering with excitement to battle you again. And here you stand, ready to give me another splendid show. Hooray! Oh, this this, this is going pretty show, cool. Right. This will be the first and final battle of the Cell Games. No need to worry about whose turn it is. Ah, it's the beginning of the end, Vegeta. Alright, time to lock in, bruh. Don't blink, Cell. Chat, don't blink. Listen to Vegeta, don't blink. He's kind of, wait, he's kind of comboing me. Get that off me. Okay. Nice super counter, man. He's just staring at me menacingly. That's the spirit. You know better than I that fights are truly interesting unless the opponent is somewhat equal in skill. Cell talking that shit. He vanished. Well done, I suppose. I mean, I went into this with low expectations, so consider me pleasantly surprised. Okay, okay, okay. Sell, sell, relax. All right, then. Sonic's way. What's wrong? Are you gonna give up now? I think you just about hit your limits. Not even close. Uh oh. Damn, that beam was fast as shit. I'm not gonna lie, sell kind of kick it. My ass. Wait, Trunks jumping in? Hold on, Trunks jumping in? Cell unleashes a key blast to finish off Vegeta after tiring up of their fight. But Trunks jumps in at the last moment to protect them. 
Oh no. Trunks, get up! Uh, my son. You son of a what? Oh shit. Oh shit. This is crazy, bruh. Yeah, damn you indeed. I'm getting flashbanged. At long last, Vegeta has defeated Cell. I'm still getting flashbanged. Remaining by the side of his fallen son, Vegeta orders Goku and the others to give him their sensu beans. However, they sense that something is wrong and hold back. Vegeta follows the direction of their gaze and sees. His energy, it's... It, it is so. He has powered up even more. The drink spilled? <laughs> no, it's not possible. <laughs> Surprised to see me. Allow me to explain. By way of a happy accident, my nuclear survived your last attack, allowing me to regenerate. Brother. It seems this body has taken a cue from Saiyan biology and extrapolated from near crushing defeat, giving me infinite stores of strength. Now, Vegeta, one last chance. Hit me with your best shot. Bye. It was always the goal to kill you with my newfound power. Ugh. A single atom of you left when I'm finished. Damn, so Goku and the others don't even get to jump in. It's just the Vegeta show. Vegeta fans. Vegeta fans are enjoying the fuck out of this. Vegeta fans are definitely enjoying this. Don't get me wrong, though. I like this, too. I'm also a Vegeta fan. He got out the way. Wait. This time. He has a different move set. Oh, Vegeta went Super Saiyan 2. I'm only just processing this. You won't survive this time. Oh, that's gas. Instead of Gohan, it's Vegeta. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm I'm moving differently now, bro. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I've never seen this ult. XL Cup. <laughs> Yo, son, please. Sparking episode. I never thought I'd be pushed this far by you. But the game is over now. And it's about time I wrap this show up. Oh, I forgot about this. They showed this. As I destroy this entire planet. Have you forgotten? I can top a pathetic little attack like yours. Oh, easily. the final flash. Final flash versus Kamehameha. Final flash. See you in hell. Father. <laughs> My goats. My goat! It's no good. Vegeta's energy is too weak. It's being pushed back. Damn it! <laughs> well, it's been fun. But this is goodbye, my friend. Farewell! Trunks. Oh, this is so gas. Did you have become stronger? Father, all thanks to your help. Shut up with you 
did it yourself. And I'll just show you. Ah, oh, this is so crazy. You are impressive, boy. Just don't slow me down. Of course not. Father Son Final Flash. Together. Me being both a Vegeta fan and a Trunks fan, bro. I'm eating, bro. Yo, the, the the voice fading, that was fire. Yeah. You Yeah. You really did it, father. Way to go, Vegeta! You actually had me worried there for a second. <laughs> Don't you ever doubt me again. Father. <laughs> Let's go home. Mom's waiting for us. Of course. Yeah, this is what I like to see right here. This is what I like to see right here. I like that right there. That, that, I like that ending right there. W Vegeta, bro. All right, let's hop into the Boo Saga. The opponent, I, never lose. I am the great Saiyan man. Sometime after Gohan defeats Cell, the now grown up Gohan travels to meet Vegeta and discuss participating in the world tournament. Vegeta agrees to partake in the tournament. Goku, who is in other world, also decides to participate. In order to beat Goku at the world tournament, Vegeta begins to train his son Trunks. Okay, if you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do! That was amazing, Dad! You've got to be the strongest guy in the whole world! Um... <laughs> Naturally, even through my greatest hardships, I've never let up on my training for a single moment. Yeah! I can't wait to watch you dominate at the World Martial Arts Tournament! But... I still wanted to go to the amusement park. D dry your tears! I'll take you to the park, okay? Oh, yeah! <laughs> but you're going to keep on assisting in my training while maintaining your Super Saiyan form, of course. Oh man, and I was gonna hang with Goten later. This sucks. At the World Tournament, Vegeta reunites with Goku. As a result of the draw, Vegeta is due to fight Goku in the first round and is finally able to take joy in battle. However, during Gohan's first battle, Yamu and Spopovich invade the battlefield and take to the skies with Gohan's stolen energy. Vegeta immediately joins Goku in following Spopovich's trail. Before long, Yamu and Spopovich are killed by Babidi and Deborah has turned Piccolo and Krillin to stone. To turn Krillin back from stone, Vegeta and the others follow Deborah and fight him. But as Vegeta watches Deborah and Gohan fight, he becomes frustrated at not being able to fight Goku at the World Tournament. Chat, I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> ah, the voices! What? You can shake off the brick. Nah. Ah, yeah, we're preventing Majin Vegeta from happening, bro. Babidi detects the wickedness that remains in Vegeta's heart and looks poised to use it to manipulate him. Can Vegeta overcome Babidi's brainwashing? Oh no, Vegeta! Don't let that creep control your mind! Damn, a sparking episode for this? Vegeta. But he's casting his spell on him. Come on, Vegeta. I did not expect Stay this. This is crazy. Silence, all of you. Just who the hell do you think I am? You, you fool. 
You're dealing with the proud prince of all Saiyans! And you actually believed you could control me? That was cool. What? <laughs> the no freaking Bobby in the background. What? Will. The only thing I care about is fighting you, Kakarot. Now show me the results of your training in the afterlife. Right now. And I'll demonstrate how much I've outclassed you. I bridged the gap to meet your They get to throw the hands right now. And after all these years, I'll prove I'm the strongest of all by beating you in one last decisive battle. That is my goal. My sole purpose to fight. You keep on surprising me. After what just happened, I can tell how much you want to settle the score. All right. Let's you and me finish this once and for all. Own everything. Nobody denies becoming my servant. That's it. Now you all die, Deborah. Yes, sir. Bro, you don't want to put the boar up against Vegeta. Vegeta finna cook you, bruh. It's not gonna it's not gonna go how you think it's gonna go. And for insulting my pride, I'm going to crush you all and throw you into the wind. Yeah, Deborah, you gonna get washed, I fear, buddy. Super counter. Oh, he recovered. Nice. Super counter. Super counter. As you wish, Master. He's far stronger than you presume. No enemy has ever been an actual threat to me. And yet, you're starting to sweat, demon. Have you been taking this seriously or not? Oh, he's ta he's talk he's talking that talk. That's what I'm talking about, Vegeta. No! Stop sidestepping me! Oh my god. Stop sweating, bruh. Hold this for me real quick. Uh, uh, uh. GG, bruh. Cooked. We're trying to make a print serve the likes of you. It's off with your heads. Would y'all have liked Vegeta not to go the Majin Rao? I wonder. I don't mind this right here. This is cool. As Vegeta defeats the Bora, his energy can no longer be absorbed but to revive Majin Buu. Curses! <laughs> now I can't siphon any power, and the Bora has bit the dust! Martin Boo won't be revived if I'm slain. Time to make a hasty retreat. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh, so you think you can just run away after humiliating me? Are we gonna fight Bobbity? Did we did not need to do this, bruh. It's over for you. We can't we can't go from the hype what if that was. We cannot go from the hype what if that was Vegeta versus Cell to this. This is actually pathetic. I guess I, I guess I feel good about beating Bobbity up though. I guess I do feel good about this, but I'm a little disappointed. I said it's you to death. It's done. Majin Buu's container is destroyed. Oh, Piccolo's back. Hooray. And with Deborah gone, everyone who was turned to stone should be back to normal. What a relief. I am eternally grateful to all of you. And Vegeta, your sheer force of will ensured the safety of the universe. Hooray. Save it. Protecting the peace is of no interest to me. All I did was push aside another fool standing in my way. That said, how much time is left? Oh, right, right. We got to get back to the stadium quick before the tournament's all over. The tournament is inconsequential. You and I are going to fight before this day is done, Kakarot. W's. This is a little, si this one right here is, is a little similar to, uh, to the what if that's in Tenkaichi 2, I think. 
Vegeta and Goku hurry back to the stadium, but the tournament has already finished. However, the announcer who remembers Goku's past fights agrees to make special preparations for, his, for him to battle Vegeta. Oh, so they get to fight in the ring. Nice. As he and Goku enter the arena, the moment Vegeta has been waiting for finally arrives. Yeah, this reminds me of the What If from Tenkaichi 2. I'm going full force, Kakarot. This is cool. Whoa, whoa, hold up, Vegeta. If we go 100%, we might cause more than a couple of problems. Hey, bro, just go ahead and leave, bro. How so? Like, if I were to use a Kamehameha or go Super Saiyan here, the whole town would be destroyed. Remember, our friends and family are here, too. Beat him, Dad. Go for it, Vegeta. <laughs> Very well. And this shall be a battle of raw strength alone. Hey, bro, Vegeta, you've beaten him in a, in a battle of raw strength. For so long, my only ambition has been to defeat you. Fire. This is it, Kakarot. Today I will prove who's the strongest Saiyan warrior of all. Yeah. My goal was out of reach when you left this world behind. But my training never ceased. I was convinced the day would come when we face would be funny if we just ringed out. And with it, my victory would be in hand. I ran right into that grab. Hooray! One of these niggas is gonna not follow the rules and go Super Saiyan. I wonder who's it, who it's gonna be though. If it's going to be anybody, though, it'd probably be Vegeta, knowing him. Oh, my God, Goku, stop! Gonna use a wrench counter and shit, right? I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I'll use it right this back. End, Kakarot. Kakarot! Vegeta! Yo, why Goku say it like that? He never says it like that. Ah! Hooray! My GOAT wins again! seen Vegeta and you earned this win this concludes the look at that bro look at that look at that match. please applaud the marvelous efforts of our two fighters When the match concludes, Goku and Vegeta are met by their families, but Goku only has short time left in this world. As fortune teller Baba arrives to lead him away, Goku asks her to wait and says goodbye to his family and friends. In addition, Goku reveals Super Saiyan 3 that he couldn't show Vegeta during their fight. Vegeta is shocked that Goku has hidden his new power. To his frustration, he knows he hasn't really beaten Goku at all. Come on, bro! You were still hiding even more power? Come on! A little, but in terms of pure fighting ability, you've totally surpassed me. I got a lot of training to do in Otherworld. Hey, even in Vegeta's story, we still hold Vegeta. Vegeta. There are strong fighters everywhere you look, and you can train as much as you want. Are you stupid? I have no intention of dying yet. 
I swear you never stop aggravating me. But you better not let up on your training, Kakarot. Unless you want to lose to me again. <laughs> Win or lose, you never change, do you? Well. Goodbye, Kakarot. I'll win then too. For I am number one. Vegeta, you're still my goat, bruh. At the end of the day, when it comes to just raw strength, one-on-one -on -one combat, he can't fuck with you. Aye, bruh. Hold on. I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this. What did Goku... What did Goku do? Did he do... I think he did scissors. I'm going rock. That way I can win. Shoot! Fuck! <laughs> Get the hell out of here, bro. No, oh, damn it all. All right, time to hit him with everything I've got. Cause if we lose this one, then the whole universe is history. Well, well gotta go back and get that what if. Saying three of yours with my own eyes. Our final battle has begun. With the fate of the I thought it was gonna let me keep going. Your strength is truly amazing. Oh, we're getting the number one speech. You've always been like this. Ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. You never fight to kill, or even to win. Only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. How can a Saiyan fight with such power? And at the same time be so gentle. Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Hooray! What's good, Darlington? Even Super Saiyan 3 Goku cannot defeat Majin Buu. Goku is confident that he can do away with his opponent if he can build up his strength to the limit. However, Vegeta, he tells Vegeta he cannot find the opportunity to do so. To give Goku time to build Ki, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan and confronts Majin Buu. Stay alive, Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. <laughs> Impudent scum! Oh no. Vegeta, get up! An attack this fast and powerful, I won't be able to withstand it for very long. What's taking you so long? Kakarot, hurry! That shit out of here, bro. You and your freaking revenge counter, bro. These CPUs love that shit. No. 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 Hold that shit for me real quick. This is the end for you. Come here. Uh, 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 uh. This ult is cool. I do like this a lot. It's all, or nothing. all I gotta do is hold them off. Vegeta, stand your ground. One more time, bruh. Hey, 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 hey. Nigga, Majin Buu, like bro. Gah. That. You were too slow, Kakarot. While you were lagging behind, I practically killed him already. But Buu's definitely still alive. Trust me. 
We'd better finish him off while we've still got the chance. I'm not letting you take all the glory. So we'll defeat him together. Hold on. Woo! Wait. That's the end of Majin Buu. And now. Forget the spirit bomb. The time has come for you to face me, Kakarot. Forget the spirit bomb, bruh. We just killed Boo like that, bruh. And now we get to... <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's get it, bruh. Let's get it. Let's get to the action, bruh. Vegeta's back alive, too. Let's go. Majin Buu is vanquished. And the two of you still wish to fight? Of course, we're Saiyans. He's right, Supreme Kai. What I want more than anything is to fight with Vegeta again. And we get to see Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta versus you Super Saiyan 3 Kakarot. Goku, bruh. Hey, bruh. If I gave you anything less, I'd probably lose. Don't, don't do this to me, bruh. Let me jump in the fight. Give me the fight. Let me do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Type. I right, bet. Let's get it. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Hold all this damage for me real quick. We're going to look at this. Oh, again. All right, we off to a pretty good start. He doesn't know where we are. You better get up, Goku. Or my fault, Kakarot. I broke, I broke character there for a second, bro. This is the end for you. Oh yeah, let's get it. Vegeta beat Goku in Super Saiyan 3, bro. I've seen all I need I have seen all I needed to see, bro. I won. <laughs> At last. Victory is mine. But I have to say, you must be some kind of freak of nature, Kakarot. This is what I love I to see. I almost say the same to you, Vegeta. Even in my Super Saiyan 3 form, I still lost. Bum. What a fraud. Match, huh? Fraudulent form. Thank you. I'm going to keep on training harder and harder. So next time, I'll be the winner. <laughs> really? Well, don't expect it to be as easy as you say. Though it'll only be a matter of time before he catches up to me. What say we go home, Vegeta? All our friends and family are waiting for us. Yes, let's depart. For as long as I live, I will become stronger and stronger evermore. My goat Vegeta. All right, well, we've wrapped up Vegeta's saga, and I got to say, his is probably the most disappointing out of the four that I've played, because I've played Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, and Trunks. And yeah, I gotta say, this one definitely is the most disappointing one out of the bunch. As his what ifs were cool, but the fact that this does this ends right here and doesn't go up to super is pretty disappointing. But I still had fun with it. I still enjoyed it nonetheless. The what ifs were definitely really cool. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like button. And if you guys are looking forward to some more Sparking Zero content in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button as we got a ton more to come through. With that being said, it's going to be the end of the video, and I hope you guys take it easy.